Hey there YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to show you a program called Double Driver. The, basically this, this program can copy your current drivers on your computer so that you'll have as a backup. So if you um, decide to do upgrade your operating system and uh, the current that system didn't have your drivers you'll you'll stand a better chance of doing two things one you may actually be able to install the driver on that operating system and it's compatible if it's not com compatible it will give you the name of the driver that you or, or the name of the device so that way it'll make it easier for you to find it so copy and paste the um the url and then click download you'll see i already did it twice so i'm not going to download it again once it's downloaded, um, I copied it to the desktop for now, but go ahead and double click on it. There's, um, it doesn't have to be ran as administrator or anything. So click, once it's open, click backup. And then here, I'll even make it a little bit bigger for you so you can see. And then uh, scan current system. And then over here, click backup now. And once this pops up, you're going to click this little square over here. We're going to pick a spot for it to be downloaded. What I typically do is I go to the C drive. I will um, click computer and then I'll click right on C. And then once I click on C, I'll click on make new folder. And then I'll just call this driver. And then once that's done, um, the folder has been created so go ahead and click OK and then click OK again and this will just take a few minutes it'll go through depending on the type of drivers and, and how many drivers you have um, it'll take a little bit so I'm going to pause the video until it's done okay as you can see the operation completed successfully you're going to go ahead and just click OK and then you can just close out of this now what we're going to do is we're going to go and find the file just to make sure that it's there and you'll find it under driver because that's what we named it so you go to computer and then just driver and this is pretty much the everything in here so you'll notice under network you got the Realtek PCI GBE the Belkin USB wireless adapter um, the virtual box that's just uh, from my VM virtual machines but that's really nothing a uh, printer driver so if you have uh, your printer installed these this is the driver so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what you can do let's assume that um, you can see down here device driver not not installed successfully because what I did is well I uninstalled it but apparently it decided to go ahead and reinstall itself but anyways I was going to um, show you what you can do but I'll just do a mock-up of what you, you would do if you reinstalled an operating system and you store this folder on a USB drive I mean obviously you don't want it on the drive that you're going to be um, updating Windows or whatever so let's say, just say you just installed a new operating system you would just um it would probably look more like this one here you would have an exclamation mark you would update driver um you would go to browse my computer and you would just steer it to the the um the driver that you just created um and it's in the c drive and it would be under driver and you can actually click on the driver and then just click right on the folder so whatever driver you're looking for it'll search every one of these folders so if you just click here and click OK and then click next it's just gonna go through it obviously I don't have this driver I didn't update this driver so it's not going to find it but if you would up if you upgraded and let's say let's say uh, the operating system doesn't like your driver at least you know what it is you know what kind of controller it is for example um, this isn't a great example because this really doesn't have a 
a user friendly they stop making this driver so that's why it's important for me to to keep this but this belkin usb wireless adapter um you'll at least know what it is that way you can you can find it easy a little bit easier online um the display now i know this is an nvidia geforce gt730 so if I upgraded to Windows 8 or Windows 10 and it didn't work, I can go find an, uh, the actual Windows 8 or Windows 10 driver that will work with my NVIDIA card and the operating system. So it's just a good program to have. So um, if you guys uh, have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments below and uh, have a good night.